Hello, welcome to another one of my Trinity teachings. This is lesson 3.4.2, um, Cubomancy, another form of divination um, I'm going to talk to you about and teach you about. Um, also, there's going to be a link in the description to where you can go and find the... Has, with this, I have um, scanned the pages of a book that is explained more about Cubomancy as well as the correspondence to it, which I will explain. And there you can go and find pictures or well, the scans of those pages so you can take them and learn them and learn how to do Cubomancy. Anyway, Cubomancy. Basically, it's reading the future with dice. There are two main ways to do this, and I'm going to explain them. Um, first off, the first way of doing so is a simple one. Um, you need three dice for this method. Um, for this method, you basically... It's kind of... Um, there's a bit of numerology um, thrown into it um, in this one, but you basically just need three dice. That way you can get up to it, um, 18. And, well, basically you ask a question and you roll a dice, and the answer is... The number is the answer. Um, I will be placing, as I said, um, a link to where you can go find the pictures of these scans, the scans of these pages, so you can see the correspondence. That way you know. Um, the, they will be taking you to my like page on Facebook, where I will be uploading these so you can see them. Anyway, um, what was I say? Oh, yes. And then the other way is a bit more... How do I say? A bit more complex? Um, and actually, at first, I didn't understand, the, because the book didn't explain it entirely that well. But, um, I'll read exactly what it says, and you should be able to understand. I'll explain afterwards my own words, just in case. Um, anyway, I see another popular method uh, matches up basic questions and sets of answers. Uh, there are 32 possible questions from which to choose. The use of just two dice gives you a choice of 672 possible answers. No matter which question is chosen, the answer that comes up usually seems appropriate. The two dice are held in the right hand, as in the above working, while the question chosen from the 32 possible is concentrated upon. Then the dice are cupped in both hands, shaken, and thrown down. There is no circle for them to be thrown into. The, um... Un upturned faces are noted and the answers found from the list looking for the same numbers answer as the question. Okay. That seems a bit confusing probably, and I know it was when I first read it, but I'll explain. First off, um, there was a list of 32 questions, which I will be sh giving you in the scan. Um, and these 32 questions, you pick, your point is to pick one of the questions. Pick, say you pick question 5. Um, anyway, after you pick question 5, you then roll the dice. And you only need 2 for this method, I might add. Anyway, and you roll the dice. Say you get a 3 and a 1. Well, in the list of possible answers, there is, um, different sets. I would say this. There are 32 questions. And then, for every possible outcome of the dice, um, since there's 2, for every outcome, which would be 1, 6, 3, 4, 1, 5, you name it, there are th 32 answers that correspond. One of which of those 32 will correspond to your question. So say you, as I said, you pick question 5, um, you get a 3 and a 4 as your section, then you go to the answer which would be under that one, and there's your answer. Um, it's actually a really simple method. Um, I might add, it says there's no circle phone to be thrown in. It's mainly just because if you're doing the three dice method, which is just a question, um, it suggests that you make a circle to throw them in. Not like a M Wiccan circle, I'm saying. You just like make something that's like a circular for them to throw into so they don't go everywhere, you know what I mean? But then again, I don't see a point why you need one. Um, it's, this is a simple method. I mean, you could do this anywhere, anyway. Um, the most you only need is three dice. Just do the three for any question. As, I mean, there's three possible questions, and your question that anybody could have would possibly be in there. But um, it's a good chance that it, it might not be. I mean, if maybe it's a specialty creeper question. If so, then you can just do the three dice method, which usually um, works. 
I've mainly only worked with the two dice method, mainly because I only have two dice I can find in my house right now. I'm looking for a third. Um, I'm going to get a new set of dice, that way I can work on this. Um, and this actually kind of refer this type of um, divination, cubomancy, kind of coincides with another one which I'll be talking about on another video, which is reading with dominoes. Um, different to a point, um, because of obviously two faces and all that, but anyway, um, that's pretty much all I got on cubomancy. Again, as I said, in the description below, I will be um, leaving a link, which will take you to my like page on Facebook. Um, in the photos, if if you don't, if it won't, if the link don't work, just go to my like page on my Facebook. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to find. It's Ark's YouTube channel. A dot R A period R period C space YouTube channel. Simple enough. Um, anyway, you just go to there. But the link should take you straight to the album, which I'm going to upload the pictures of those well, scans of those pages. And you can just save the pages um, accordingly. And I will be doing the same thing, as I said, with the cartomancy, um, with the normal playing cards. And with I'm going to do the same thing with the dominoes, because I also have one for the dominoes to show you. Anyway, um, thank you for watching my video on Cubomancy. Um, until next time, um, comments, questions below in the comments, as I've said before. And until next time, keep reading, keep learning. Bye-bye.